today's battle is a unique one. It's between the Dancing Pumpkin and Jet Bean. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not going to state their height because it's freaking impossible. <laughs> okay, weapons. Okay, let's start with the Dancing Pumpkin. The Dancing Pumpkin can turn any monster into the size of a pumpkin seed. And also, he's an incredible dancer, and he can he's very fucking fast. Meanwhile, Jet Bean isn't really considered a monster, since they're both pretty much just monsters, and they're just basically just vegetables, basically. They're basically just vegetables. So you can't, that, you, that, that, I mean, if it was against the monster, if the Dancing Pumpkin was against Jet Bean, that, the ability to, the ability to turn them on, you know. That ability is going to be kind of useless, you know. Since they're both kind of like the same vegetable, kind of. Like, you know what I'm saying. I mean, like, this gi giant bean isn't really a vegetable. Considering that the dancing pumpkin is a freaking pumpkin. But hey, I digress. Anyways, yeah. Now, Jet Bean. Jet Bean, his weapons is his fists and kicks. He's a spirit. He's the experienced kung fu master. And plus, he has these gauntlets right here, these metal gauntlets around his fists. Those are for, like, deflecting bullets. Yes, he's fast enough to freaking deflect bullets. Anyways, let's fight. This fight takes place in a prison cell. In a prison cell. Anyways, the Dancing Pumpkin comes to greet Jet Bean. But Jet Bean was sent here by the Shadow Bean Agency to kill this pumpkin-looking mother effer. Jet Bean then says, I was sent here to kill you. The Dancing Pumpkin says, Well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna kill me, try it. So and then... Here we go! The fight happens. The pumpkin just basically just speeds away. Pew! Looks like I won. Jet Bean says. But then he comes right back and punches Jet Bean in the face. Jet Bean then freaking karate kicks the dancing pumpkin in the face. And then he just. <laughs> he just beats the living hell out of the dancing pumpkin. <laughs> But the Dancing Pumpkin uses dance fighting, and he does that. But well, it isn't really effective when your opponent is flipping around like a monkey. So, the Dancing Pumpkin is for actually forced to fight. <laughs> Jet Bean then freaking kicks, kicks um, Dancing Pumpkin again, but this time it's in the shin. And then, poof, just knees him in the face. The Dancing Pumpkin is getting his... He's getting demolished in this fight, man. I swear. The Dancing Pumpkin then just speeds away, but Jet Bean follows, jumping from wall to wall. He's a literal freaking parkour artist. And then, and then the Dancing Pumpkin runs out of energy and stamina. But then Jet Bean just punches him in the back of the head. <laughs> the Dancing Pumpkin is exhausted from running. And then he gets the living, he gets being the living hell out of. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it.
So yeah. D the dancing pumpkin is giving his ass handed to him, and like he's getting, he's getting defeated, and yeah. Jet Bean then just punches him one more time just for good measure, and that one punch killed the dancing pumpkin. Jet Bean then leaves and calls the shadow agency, saying that saying, "I killed the target," and then just hangs up. Verdict. In a fight between the Dancing Pumpkin and Jet Bean, Jet Bean would win around 90% of the time. I mean, sure, those high-speed punches from the Dancing Pumpkin are going to do some stuff. But, like, J Jet Bean is just a much more experienced fighter. He's just too much for the Dancing Pumpkin. So, yeah, who do you think? but who do you think would have won this fight? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.